What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a deep look at the lightweight perk versus the double time perk in Call of Duty Vanguard. I've had a ton of people asking me which one is better overall for getting around the map more effectively, and which is better in various situations, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. And starting it off, let's just talk about a brief overview of how these perks are different, since they're in the same slot and they both help you move around the map faster. When it comes to the lightweight perk, this one just gives you a flat increase to your movement speed across the board. And generally speaking, this turned out to be a 6% increase to your movement speed, which is actually quite a powerful lightweight perk. In the past with some Call of Duty games, their lightweight perk would only help by like 3% or 4%. This one is actually pretty noticeable. Then when it comes to double time, this one doubles your tax sprint duration, and it also allows you to have a 30% faster crouch movement speed, which we will look at in a little bit. Now there are a few other things as well as a very interesting result I got with slide canceling. So let's just dive right into it and start it off with our base movement speed. So this is without sprinting, we're just moving as fast as possible while standing. And we can see here the lightweight perk does allow you to move 6% faster. And with the double time perk, as expected, this doesn't change your base movement speed at all. As for sprinting, since sprint is a multiplier off of base movement, it turns out with lightweight we actually get around about 8% faster rather than just 6% faster, so you even get an extra benefit while sprinting. And surprisingly, with the double time perk, we can move around the map about 2% faster than our base movement speed. So it's clearly not even close to being as good as lightweight in this department, but it is worth noting because this isn't mentioned anywhere in the perk description, double time will help you a little bit just with standard sprinting as well. Now as for our tactical sprint, keeping in mind this is going to depend on the distance that you're covering. I was testing on a 40 meter distance, so with this one I wasn't using any sort of a slide cancel or anything. I would just start off on my 40 meter distance with a tactical sprint until it ran out, and then I would just continue with a regular sprint for the rest of the distance. So these movement speed values are averages over that 40 meters while doing this. And when it comes to lightweight, it surprisingly wasn't that much faster than just using no movement perks at all. We only covered that 40 meter distance about 3.7% faster. And then with double time, I was also quite surprised to see we only covered this distance 4.7% faster. So these are still going to be helping you, of course, with tactical sprint. But surprisingly, at least in a 40 meter distance, these didn't help that much compared to base movement. Now, let's move on to the very interesting result that I found in my testing here. This is using tax sprint with slide cancelling involved. I was just using the exact same technique that was used in Modern Warfare for this. Perhaps somebody has found or will find in the future some sort of better movement technique, but I was just interested in testing this one out. And with no movement perks, you are going to be getting around the map quite a bit faster with slide cancelling. Then with lightweight, we get around about 6.6% faster. Again, this is covering a 40 meter distance. And very surprisingly, with double time, I was only covering that 40 meters about 3.8% faster than without any movement perks. Lightweight with slide cancelling is more effective than double time with slide cancelling, which was a very surprising result, and this is something I tested multiple times because it just didn't seem right to me. But with multiple tests, I saw the same trend every single time. Lightweight is more effective than double time if you're slide cancelling. Like I said, somebody may discover some new movement mechanic that allows you to get around the map even faster, and that might change things, but as of right now, it's looking like lightweight will give you the most advantages for covering distances, at least in regular multiplayer, with the relatively shorter distances that we're covering. But that's not it, I also wanted to have a look at the crouch movement speed to make sure that the double time perk is doing what it's supposed to do. And what I found with this one is we still move 6% faster with lightweight, so we're still getting a benefit while crouch walking. And with double time, the description is accurate, we get a 30% boost to our crouch movement speed. And finally, we have one last movement mechanic I wanted to test, and this is aim down sight movement speed. I was curious to see if these perks had any impact on that. And once again, Lightweight gives us our 6% faster movement speed, and Double Time didn't change anything at all here, which was no surprise. But this really goes to show that Lightweight is basically always working for you. It's always going to be helping you no matter what when it comes to movement speed, whereas Double Time is more situational. Now before doing these tests, my assumption was going to be that Lightweight would be better if you were just covering short distances, you weren't tack sprinting or slide cancelling a lot, and then double time would be better for longer distances and slide cancelling. But it turns out Lightweight is even better than double time at slide cancelling, so in my opinion, Lightweight is the clear winner here. 
Now, this doesn't mean that there aren't very specific situations where double time is going to be advantageous. Like if you're crouch walking, for instance, obviously double time is significantly better at doing that. And then also, if you just happen to be covering a particular distance from one piece of cover to another, and that's the exact distance where the double time tack sprint with that longer duration will allow you to tactical sprint the whole way between point A and point B, whereas without double time, you can't tack sprint that whole distance. Again, in that situation, double time is going to be just a little bit better than lightweight, but not by a large enough margin that I would say double time is worth using in regular multiplayer. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. In my opinion, lightweight is the clear winner when it comes to this comparison. And I don't see myself ever using double time, actually. It's going to be lightweight if I am using one of these two perks. Now, of course, that is just my opinion based on my testing and the data that I collected here. I'd like to hear in the comments section below. First up, do you guys agree with me? Do you think lightweight is generally the better option? And second, were you surprised by any of these results, especially with slide canceling? Because it personally surprised me quite a bit. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more Vanguard breakdowns and tips if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.